The Boeing 307 Stratoliner is a true gem in the world of aviation, recognized as the first commercial airliner with a pressurized cabin. Launched in the late 1930s, this aircraft changed the game for passenger travel by enabling airlines to soar above rough weather, making flights much more comfortable. Even though it wasn't in service for long, the Stratoliner played a vital role in pushing aviation technology forward and setting the stage for today's high-altitude air travel. Back in its heyday, the aviation industry was buzzing with innovation, and the design of the Boeing 307 was heavily inspired by the Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress, one of the most important bombers from World War II. In fact, they shared quite a few parts, like the wings and tail section. But what really distinguished the Stratoliner was its pressurized fuselage, a groundbreaking feature that allowed it to cruise at altitudes of up to 20,000 feet, well above most weather disturbances. The Stratoliner took to the skies for the first time on December 31, 1938, and it was a marvel of its time. It could accommodate up to 33 passengers and five crew members, offering a level of comfort and reliability that was unheard of back then. Powered by four Wright R1820 Cyclone radial engines, it could cruise at around 220 miles per hour and had a range of about 1,500 miles. Boeing only produced 10 of these beauties with transcontinental and western air being the main customer. TWA branded it as the Stratoliner and used it for long-haul flights across the U.S., providing a luxurious experience that set a new standard for air travel. Other airlines like Pan American Airways also took to the skies with the 307, using it for international routes and expanding its influence beyond American borders. However, the onset of World War II changed everything for commercial aviation, and many Stratoliners were repurposed for military use. These planes were rebranded as C-75 and served in the U.S. Army Air Forces, primarily for transport and cargo missions. To maximize their capacity, modifications were made, including stripping out passenger comforts. After the war, the rapid development of newer, more advanced aircraft made the Stratoliner somewhat outdated. Pressurization technology became the norm, and larger, faster planes like the Douglas DC-6 and Lockheed Constellation quickly took over the market. By the early 1950s, most Stratoliners had been retired, although a few found new life in private and experimental roles. One of the most notable Stratoliners belonged to Howard Hughes, who transformed it into a lavish flying penthouse. His personal 307 was heavily customized for comfort and luxury, becoming a symbol of his extravagant lifestyle. The last surviving Boeing 307, known as Clipper Flying Cloud, was restored by Boeing in the 1990s. After a thorough restoration, it briefly returned to the skies before being retired to the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum, where it stands as a tribute to early aviation innovation. While the Boeing 307 Stratoliner may not get as much attention as later aircraft, it was a pioneering machine that significantly impacted commercial aviation. By introducing pressurization, it laid the groundwork for the jet age, enabling airlines to fly higher, faster, and more comfortably. Today, the Stratoliner is celebrated as a bold step toward modern air travel, reminding us that significant technological advancements often come in small yet impactful strides.